Here we are on page 7. Answers number 1 through 9 is what we're looking for. So we'll start off with number 1. Now note that we were told to solve these by substitution. So that's what we're going to be working with here. This y equals 3x minus 7. So the 3x minus 7 is going to go right in there. We get 2x plus y, which is 3x minus 7 equals 18. 5x equals 25. x equals 5. Now we take this 5 and we put it back up in here to see what the y equals. 3 times 5 is 15 minus 7. y then has to equal 8. But we could put it in here too. 2 times 5 is 10 plus what equals 18? y would equal 8. So the point 5, 8 is the intersection of these two lines. It works in both of them. Number 2. 5x plus 2y equals 11, and y equals 4x minus 14. So 4x minus 14 is going to come and go right in there. We get 5x plus 2 times 4x minus 14 equals 11. That gives us 5x plus 8x minus 28 equals 11. 13x, add the 28 over there, equals a 39, and then x equals 3. Now we take that x equals 3, stick it back up there, and we get 4 times 3 is 12, minus 14 is a negative 2, so y equals a negative 2. That means 3, negative 2 works, and we can just double check it here. 3 and a negative 2 gives you 15, minus 4 does indeed equal 11. Number 3. 2y plus 5x equals 3, and it says that y is negative 7. Hey, look at that. They gave us half of the answer. That's wonderful. So we stick that in there and we get negative 14 plus 5x equals 3. Add 14 to both sides and we get 5x equals 17. x equals 17 fifths. So 17 fifths and y was a negative 7 is where those two lines will intersect. Number 4 here we get y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. So we're going to stick that right over there. 2 thirds x minus 4 equals a negative 2x plus 12. Ooh, I want to get rid of that fraction. We times everything through by 3. 36, good. Now add 6x over here. Add 12 over there and we get x equals 6. So if x is 6, we come back up here and say, okay, we could stick it right there, or we could stick it right there. Stick it right there. 2 thirds times 6 is 4, minus 4 is 0. We should get the same thing sticking it here. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12, plus 12 is indeed 0. So the point 6, 0 is where these two lines intersect. Number 5, here they have x equals 3, Oh, that's nice. They gave us half of the solution again. So we get 15 minus 7y equals 1. Subtract 15, we get negative 7y equals a negative 14. And then divide by a negative 7, we get y equals 2. So x is 3, y is 2, and that will work in both of those equations. Number 6, 4x plus 5y equals 7, and y is 7 6 x minus 9 halves. Oh boy, this looks kind of hairy. Let's do it. 4x plus 5 times y, which is 7, 6x minus 9 halves. And that equals 4x plus 5y equals 7. 4x plus 35, 6x minus 45 halves equals 7. I'm going to do this a little slower, but I'm going to times everything by the least common denominator. So I'm going to times by 6 everywhere. And we get 24x, those will cancel, plus 35x now, this cancels, it leaves a 3 up here. 3 times 45, that's 135 equals 42. Whew. 
That looks terrible. This gives us 59x equals at 135 to 42, and we get 177. Wow. Divide by 59. Looks terrible, but let's see what happens. And x equals 3. Holy smokes, that came out just right. x equals 3, let's put it up here. Um, I want to put it in the top one. Let's see what happens when we put it in the top one. So we get 4 times 3 is 12, plus 5y equals 7. Subtract 12 and we get 5y equals negative 5, so y equals negative 1. Our point is then x is 3, y is a negative 1. Number 7. 2x minus 3y equals 6. 5x plus 3y equals 22. Ooh, they made this one a little bit tough because we've really got to uh, solve so we can substitute. We do have 3y's in both of them, so I'm going to take this down here and solve for the 3y and subtract 5x from both sides. So we get 3y equals negative 5x plus 22. Now notice that this 3y that guy can go right up there for that 3y. So we really get 2x minus negative 5x plus 22. That's our 3y equals 6. That's 2x plus 5x minus 22 equals 6. 7x add 22. That's a 28. So x equals 4. So now if we stick 4 back up in there, Let's write it down here. If x is 4, we get, I don't know, either one of these should work, so let's do the bottom one. 20 plus 3y equals 22. Subtract 20 and we get 3y equals 2, y equals 2 thirds. So our answer should be 4 2 thirds. Let's just make sure that that works in the other guy as well. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 3 times 2 thirds, so that's minus 2, does indeed equal 6. Number 8, ooh, uh, we got to get y or x by itself so that we can solve for this thing, so let's try to get y by itself here. Subtract 3x from both sides, we get y equals negative 2 minus 3x, and that guy we can now stick up here into the y. 5x minus 2y, which is a negative 2 minus 3x, equals a negative 29. 5x plus 4 plus 6x equals 29. That is a negative 29. It's 11x plus 4 equals a negative 29. Subtract 4 and we get 11x equals a negative 33. x is a negative 3 take this and we can stick this right back up here that becomes a plus 9 minus 2 y equals 7 so negative 3 7 make sure it works in both of them this would be a negative 15 minus 14 does indeed give us a negative 29 and negative 9 plus 7 gives a negative 2 good last one number 9 Ooh, let's get y by itself by adding y over here and subtracting 14. So 3x minus 14 equals y, and this guy can now go up into the y. So we get 4x plus 7 times y, that equals a 2. 4x plus 21x minus, I think that's 98 equals 2. So we get 25x, add 98 to both sides, equals 100, x equals 4. Okay, if x is 4, let's stick it in. Uh, which one should we choose? Um, how about this top one up here? So we get 16 plus 7y 
has to equal 2. So we just stuck the 4 right up in there. 16 plus 7y equals 2. Subtract 16. 7y equals a negative 14. y then equals a negative 2. Marvelous. So now we have 4, negative 2. Just to double check that it works in the other one as well, 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract negative 2 is plus 2 equals 14.